wetlands are a type of green infrastructure that serve an important role in retaining agricultural runoff and improving runoff water quality through several complex natural processes. The term green infrastructure encompasses a variety of water management practices that mimic natural hydrological processes by incorporating both the natural environment and engineered systems to conserve ecosystem functions and manage stormwater. Wetlands are an important type of green infrastructure as they help to improve water quality by slowing down water as it passes through the wetland, trapping sediment and retaining nutrients. This process reduces the amount of pollutants that would otherwise flow into downstream waterways. Additionally, water retention is essential for reducing flooding and soil erosion, making constructed wetlands a valuable tool for mitigating the impacts of heavy rain events. Wetlands can reduce flooding by acting as sponges, absorbing runoff from rainfall and snowmelt, and storing excess water. Water is then slowly released from the wetland through infiltration, evaporation, and at the outlet, which reduces the peak volume of water entering the watercourse downstream causing flooding. This is a unique wetland construction project south of London where the landowner was interested in reinstating a naturalized pond that it used to exist on the property. He received permit approval to abandon a section of the municipal drain in order to replace the open water feature. The wetland is designed to capture and treat runoff from 43 acres of agricultural land before flowing into the municipal drain system. Many of uh... The wetlands here in Canada or any local area have been lost over the years from development of various kinds. It's become very evident that it's really important to maintain the ones that we do have and restore the ones that we can. So the value of these wetlands, especially the one behind me, and as we continue constructing this wetland further in front of me, will be to absorb a, a tremendous amount of uh, snow melt and rainfall that would normally have flown right through the system and out and have entered into the stream below and added to the flooding on the Thames River. We've estimated that once complete, this wetland will be able to hold an additional 8,800 cubic meters of runoff above static levels before it starts flowing back into the municipal drain system at the catch basin, which is equivalent to a two inch rain event. This is a substantial amount of storage relative to the drainage area. Originally, when uh, we purchased the property across the road in 1990, there was a, a small wetland down here, which I believe was a natural wetland. And uh, over several different generations of people uh, buying the property, they essentially drained it and uh, tried to farm on it to some extent, not very successfully. Uh, this is a, a great spot to attract birds. Um, Already this spring, the first year of the project, uh, we've had uh, over 500 swans overnighting here. Uh, the tundra swans that migrate through the area. A wetland like this, it's not taking up any farmland and yet it's probably adding to the value of the property. Constructed wetlands require minimal to no maintenance, provide valuable wildlife habitat and improve water quality. Nutrients fixed to sediment are captured in the vegetated buffer surrounding the wetland and aquatic plants feed on excess nutrients from agricultural runoff. As the, as the water running through this wetland leaves the project, it should be cooler, cleaner, and healthier water than, what, than it would have been before without the wetland on the property. Looking at a different design, this is a multi-cell tertiary or end-of-pipe wetland that's designed to capture and treat 120 acres of runoff from agricultural land. Water is diverted from closed municipal drain into the wetland, reducing peak volume entering the watercourse by slowly releasing water. In addition to slowing water, each cell in the wetland is designed to have a different function for treating runoff to settle sediment and filter nutrients before returning to the municipal drain system. We've estimated that at low flow, when the outlet is running up to full capacity of the wetland diversion pipe, 100% of the water is diverted into the wetland from the municipal drain. In full capacity conditions, when the municipal drain outlet is running full, we estimate a minimum of 16% of the water is diverted into this wetland. So after a wetland is completed, we often like to have the forestry division of the Conservation Authority, in this particular case, Upper Thames River Conservation Authority, come in and devise a tree plan, and we'll add a variety of trees and wildlife shrubs. When you're designing uh, a pond, one of the things you need to consider is the type of vegetation that you're putting around the wetland. And you're going to have to think about plants that do enjoy a wet environment. And this will hold the bank and stabilize the bank. It also provides uh, nesting habitat for some of our bird species. 
Yes. Some of the wildlife you might attract to your pond is uh, some, particularly some bird species, some red-winged blackbirds, some uh, the marsh wren, uh, swamp sparrow. All these will use cattails to nest in, and once those become established, you'll start to get some of these birds show up. You may also get some waterfowl, so some, some ducks, um, some geese, possibly even some shorebirds, and then you might even get some great blue herons come in once you get some fish and other aquatic life established. As well, you'll get some reptiles, um, such as some frogs and some turtles, and uh, you might possibly get some, some small fish coming to your pond like this. I often think land is so valuable these days any marginal land on your farm that really isn't producing a crop might be well advised to turn it back into a highly functioning, natural, I would call it a piece of infrastructure, something that works for your farm, helps maintain your water table, cleans the water that leaves your property, and probably adds value to the investment of your land. And besides, they look great and they attract life, so what's to lose on something like that? For more information, contact your local Conservation Authority or Ducks Unlimited Canada for technical advice and to learn more about grant opportunities for rural landowners to improve and protect water quality in your watershed. Wetland planning, design and construction should always be carried out by certified professionals.